Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'm going to do it. Uh, the next six videos are already shot. Uh, they just need to be uploaded. Um, I had so much fun this month and I want to thank every single last one of you. I want to get... I want to get emotional here. I want to thank every single last one of you for all the support this month. Uh, everybody cheering me on. I was hoping I was going to be able to do it, and I did it. Um, so unless something drastic happens, uh, we made it. 31 days of Halloween. Anyways, today we are talking about VHS 94. I uh, watched this on Shudder. I believe it's a Shudder exclusive. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, if you don't have that service, I don't think you can get it anywhere else. Um, sorry, I'm also chuckling because I just got some really great news. Um, and I had to get this done, so I actually did it because it's the last video I have to do for the week. Um, anyways, more on that later. Uh, I have, I have some thoughts here. Um, I'm a big fan of the series as a whole, the VHS series. Are they all great? No. Um, but there is a good seg at least one good segment in each and every one of them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you guys want to see my thoughts on the other ones, just let me know down there in the doobly-doo, and I will cover the rest of the series. So, the, if you don't know, the VHS series is about is found footage horror anthology thing. Really cool, I think. Um, I did like the ABCs of Death a little bit better, but I think that's just because it was shorter and there was several, uh, segments in that <clears throat> that had a lot of punch. But the, what I loved about this one is there is, there is a segment in here that was just so beyond cool. And I'm going to be talking about that one the most. Um, funnily enough, oddly enough, I don't remember a thing about the first... The first segment and the framing mechan the framing uh, thing that ties all of them together. I didn't care for that much either. The second one was okay. Um, there's a bit of a spoiler here, but it's not really important to like the plot of the thing. Um, the second segment is about a woman who is uh, not attending, but she's running awake for a person who died very violently. Um, and then, of course, that you know what's going to happen the entire time. The body's actually going to get out of the coffin, so on and so forth. I didn't like that one either, um, just because it was so dang predictable down to the way that it was shot. There were several times when they kept going back to a certain thing, and I knew exactly what was going to happen, and that was pretty much the end of, of the thing, and I was like, this is, this is it? So the first two segments felt like filler, and I didn't care for the framing sequence at all. Um, now we talk about the third segment, which is by far the only, well, I won't say only, but is the major reason to watch this one. It is a super cool, super stylized uh, take on the mad scientist genre, where this man is trying, this uh, doctor is trying to uh, create human machine hybrids and he is successful that's all I'm gonna say about it there were some wonky special effects um, anytime CGI is used for like blood gushing and and gunfire and things like that it tends not to feel you know real and it didn't feel real here but the the delivery of this one and I have to say this I have to say this this is a foreign uh, filmmaker uh, not American. I'm not sure about any of the other ones, but this one is a testament to how much harder um, it, damn near every other culture has to work to be included into things like this. And I feel that sucks, um, especially since the first two were so horribly phoned in. Uh, it feels, yeah, it, it, just, it just doesn't feel right. But they definitely are in their place as, as my favorite segment here. Um, please go in blind. Don't listen to anything else I say about it. I don't, I, I'm not going to say anything else about it. But don't go looking for spoilers. If you like fun, action-packed horror and you like cyborg horror or any of that kind of thing, you are going to love this. I promise you. Finally, the last one was a little bit, a little tongue-in-cheek. Um, there's a, uh, well-formed militia of, a uh, very, very country folks, uh, that, uh, have this creature locked up and they're going to use the creature to try and commit domestic terrorism. Um, I'm going to call it what it is, <laughs> but anyways, uh, this was more funny and fun 
than horrifying. Um, I especially like the ending. Like the whole thing is just a lot of fun as far as that segment is included. And the mystery was kept well enough to the to almost to the end for me that I didn't even consider what it could be. Um, and when I did, even though it's not a favorite trope of mine, I had a lot of fun with it. And I really don't have any complaints about the last two. Um, even though the last one I feel is far more comedic. Now, if you are of, <laughs> if you are of a, a conservative mindset, you might want to stay away because uh, it definitely, definitely, uh, definitely punches at that target. Um, but it's it, it was a lot of fun for me. I know people just like these people, not to the extre not to the extreme like them. But I live in Central Alabama, so they're literally everywhere. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with the last two segments. Couldn't care less about the framing mechanic and the first two segments. I'm gonna give this one overall. I'm gonna give it three stars, and the only reason I'm giving it those three stars are for those last two segments. They were just that good. But unfortunately, all the rest of it was just felt like filler. And I wasn't there for it, so it's whatever. But have you watched VHS 94? If you have, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you loved it, whether or not you hated it, whether or not you felt meh about it, especially the ones that I liked. If you hated them or felt meh about them, let me know down there. You're not gonna, you're not gonna ruin my experience or anything. I just want to have a discussion with you. But until next time, I have been E. You have been you. Ah, this has been another, ah, the last episode. I know it's not the last one for you, but the last episode of 31 Days of Halloween. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.